bridge because they can see it. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> We're in the kitchen. Of course we are. <laughs> We're in the kitchen. Woo! Hi. Hello. How are you? I I guess I'm okay. I I went out and gardened a little bit today, so I felt like I was outside of my house, but this staying home day after day is intense. It sure is. It really is. I watched a video today. I think I shared it with you. Um, and I may, I'm going to make sure I post it on our page now that I'm telling you um, about how to go to the grocery store. And when you come back, how to wash everything. And just watching the nurse t tell you, he told you all about why you had to wash it and how. It's a seven minute video about how to take your groceries in the house. Wow. I when I hear you talk about that, it makes me think of Silkwood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really scared. When I like yeah, last night I was like, my shoes, my shoes, should they stay outside? Should I wash them after being yeah. at the grocery store? I know. It it's it's in, it was an intense video. Like I was doing pretty good until I thought I better watch this because I'm not, trying not to go grocery shopping very much. But when I do, I want to make sure I'm doing it the right way. And it was depressing. I mean, this is weird. I'm cleaning doorknobs for like the fifth time in my lifetime. I mean, yeah. I <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> I did it again today. Today I did like super clean and, and my house is so clean. It's insane. Um, oh. You could eat off the floor. Well, um, he's right here. I'm going to have to pick him up because otherwise he's going to be under my feet. While I'm oh, there's Cashew. Hi. Oh, say hi. Oh, he's raising his hand. <laughs> he has a so pretty. I'm going to put you on your box. He has a little box he sits on. Oh, does he watch you cook every time? Yeah, yeah I'm going to wash my hands, though. <laughs> yeah, wash your hands, will you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I don't have any uh, cat cat juice on here. <laughs> but how are you doing? Didn't you talk to some actor friends today? I talked to, yeah, everybody's calling. So my friend in L two friends in L.A. and one friend here, my, uh, my friend J.D., we talk to each other every day because we need to. It's just a way to anchor ourselves and um, be in touch because this is hard. He goes, "Hi, are you home?" <laughs> like, it's hard to be an artist. Uh, yeah, we're all to be artists at this time and think about how is this going to play out. I mean, I'm, I know a lot of under other industries are obviously affected. Almost everybody. Um, but it's really I keep moving forward with my projects and then keep thinking like, but wait, what if we're Still doing this in the fall. What if we're still? What if it's Christmas and we're we're here? You what know, for me, what if it's Thanksgiving and I'm roasting a turkey for me and David and nobody else? That would be <laughs> that would be hard. hard. That would be really hard. Yeah, it would. I didn't think about Thanksgiving. I don't want to think about Thanksgiving yet. I'm trying to think about Easter. Yeah, you know, I usually make. I usually do Easter. I you do. do big, I you do a big deal Easter. Yeah. And so that'll be, I mean, we were already planning it like a couple weeks ago, um, who we were going to invite and, you know, how many people and what I was going to cook. I usually make lamb, leg of lamb, but. Um, I love leg of lamb. Anyway, we'll see if I can get a leg of lamb. I don't know. <laughs> you might be making it for Corona Kitchen. <laughs> I might be, but tonight I'm making meatloaf. Oh yay, the ultimate comfort food. I'm making a meatloaf. <laughs> a little meatloaf. So I I like to stuff my meatloaf. Um, I've been doing that for you years. Do. Yep. What does that I, mean? Well, I I make it like a pinwheel style. Um, I have to get my oven. I just hit the oven. Sorry, but that reminded me. I need to put turn it on. I'm gonna so bake like a, so like a bouche de Noel with cake. Yes. You roll it up. You do that with the meatloaf with vegetables. Yes, I do, and I, I because I have this obsession of adding vegetables to everything. I think so. I I don't know. I couldn't just stand a hunk of meat and then no vegetables. When so, did you start doing? Oh, that? 
in this I went to this a long time ago, but now, I mean, there's a lot of recipes for stuffed meatloaf out there, but this is mine that I've been doing for years. Did you like I it? Have to say, though, wrong kitchen version because I couldn't get, I don't have everything in the house that I need. So I'm using, which is what meatloaf is. It's, you know, what you got around kind of. What do you got in the kitchen? Yes, that's what's going in a meatloaf. <laughs> that's what's going in the meatloaf. Um, did you like my meatloaf post? What? <laughs> I was. It reminded me of Rocky Horror. I'm like, always reach for Hamilton Beach. <laughs> I kept singing all day. I would do anything for Debriana. I won't do anything all right, so I, I did some stuff ahead. So I don't have what I usually would use, but I had frozen broccoli in the freezer. So I took it out okay. and I let it um, kind of um, thaw out a little bit. And then I um, pan fried it with, pan fried it, I don't know, sauteed, took the moisture out of it basically with um, garlic and olive oil. And I let it cool so it's not going to wow. be hot going into the meatloaf. I'm very curious about this because I don't visualize broccoli with meatloaf at all. Really? But I'm open-minded. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I put spinach in. But I, it, spinach I can see. Oh, I love broccoli, but I'll have to make you a broccoli bread. That's why I thought of broccoli because I put I, it in my broccoli bread. But I like this because I like to know what else you can do with broccoli, you know? Well, well, I I did um uh, you know cut it so that it's not um too, the florets are smaller. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I did that already, and that's mm -hmm. that's over there. Your sister's right. watching, Denise. Oh, hi, Denise. My sister's watching. <laughs> hey. Hey. I have green chili because we put chili in every egg. Chili. <laughs> it's the ultimate antioxidant, right? Yes, it is. It has a lot of vitamin C, which broccoli does too. So it's all, you know, this is all, this part's all great for you, right? Yeah. Um, and this is my nightly kombucha watching you cook. <laughs> <laughs> I have my, my PG tips tea. Okay. I went out in my garden. Parsley, also vitamin C and parsley. Oh, yum. Yes, and I do have some fresh thyme from my yard and a, a little bit of sage, just a little bit, like a sage leaf. Aren't fresh herbs the best? Oh, I love them. And they're, you know, they last all year here, just if you plant them and leave them there. Like I threw out a whole bunch of seeds of parsley and it's just huge. I have a huge field now. I you love it. You don't need, you can have containers. Like I have mine in pots. But they go all year yeah. and they're just in the all year. My time is all in pots and it's all coming back now. It's yeah. great. Yeah. All right, so bread ends. See, I think I must have been a depression baby in another life because I save everything. I don't know what that's about. But uh, the ends of bread all year long go in the freezer. But I always, you know, put them, like, into breadcrumbs first because you, you wow. can't. You can't do that otherwise. I've got about about a cup and three quarters. I'm gonna put in the bowl, and then um, I don't have milk. I only have half and half. Here's <laughs> the cake. Because that's what I have. <laughs> Me too. I don't have any milk either. And I'm gonna put the herbs in there now too. Um, and oh oh, I have to show you this. I'm I was gonna chop this herb, but I need to sharpen my knife. Oh, yeah. So, knife sharpening. Woohoo! My friend Jillian told me about this knife sharpener. Look at it. It's called a Sunrise Pro and it's little. Okay, I've never seen anything like that. And it suctions down onto your countertop. It, won't, it doesn't do it on wood. And then you just drag the knife through it. Like okay, that. that's clever. Yeah, it's super the easy. Because I can't use that thing. <laughs> Uh, somebody bought me a um, an iron, and I looked at it. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not a Jedi. <laughs> I am a Jedi. Oh, speaking of Jedi, look, look, look. Ready? Oh yes. Hey, girl. <laughs> I don't mean to flash you, but <laughs> but I just flashed you. <laughs> I am wearing my Darth Vader T-shirt today. Um, well, 
I'm going to add water to my half and half. Oh, to make it? Yeah, because I don't have milk. It doesn't have to quite be that. Whoa, sorry, cashew. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the bread. The bread. But I want to, yeah, I want to soak the bread a little bit. And then my other trick is for the onion, I put it in the blender and I make it really, really squishy, wet. So you're, first of all, you're not getting chunks of onion. And second of all, it adds moisture to the bread crumbs. Okay, this is new for me. I can't wait to try this. Okay. So I'm going <laughs> to cut my onion up like I normally do. And you guys know, save the skin and put it in the freezer in your bag for your soup stock where you already have your chicken wings from the other night. So don't accidentally grab that bag in the freezer. <laughs> I don't do that. It's not good. All right. So I'm going to put the um, onion in the blender. Okay. I'm gonna add also the the parsley to it. So it's like you're pulverizing it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And a healthy dose of parsley. And I might need to add some water to it. I don't know, we'll see what the blender does. Or half and half. <laughs> this thing is ornery. What <laughs> What kind of blender? Add a little cream to it. What kind of blender do you have? Um, it's a Ninja. Uh huh. It's a Ninja, but um, it's you know the the big one. The big part is big, and the small parts are too small, and I never know how how what to add where. <laughs> I'm like, oh. So this will have to work for now. I'm going to go one more time. It's working! Yay! <laughs> it's really, um, like, safety-oriented, which I like, and then I hate when it won't go. <laughs> All I'm, right. I have a Vitamix, and it's it makes weird sounds sometimes. But it never fails me. I'm here. All right, I'm gonna put the mushy um, onion and parsley into my breadcrumb mix, so it just starts to everything will start to meld together with the as the bread is soaking up all the flavors of the herbs and all of that stuff. So that's going in. Yep. And I'll just you have giant bowls. <laughs> I do. Can I just say, like, you have gigantic bowls. I, I don't even think my largest bowl is as big as one of your big bowls. Okay, David's getting down the, the piece de resistance bowl. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Isn't it cool? What a pretty bowl. It's, it's this ebony wood. I don't know. A friend of ours made it um, and gave it to us for our wedding. That's beautiful. Yeah. All right, so here goes the meat. I'm going to put in, I'm going to, I usually use turkey and ground beef. Okay. But I don't have turkey. Okay. So, and I usually add prosciutto, and I don't have that either. You mean my spirit animal? <laughs> yes, it's my spirit animal. <laughs> These are my moink box meats. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, this one's ground beef. And, um, Usually when I lay them, you know, lay it out to be rolled, like the jelly roll, um, I lay a couple of strips of prosciutto on it first. That sounds so good. I My whole meatloaf world is expanding right now. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so glad. I've been making and, it the same way for years with an egg. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you do on the top of it? Because that's different than like probably bread crumbs and you know on the top. Yeah, like a little sauce and a breadcrumb to make it crispy and like onions and yeah, you know, dripping. 
All right, so the meat's in here. Now I'm gonna add um, the softened breadcrumbs with all the herbs and everything. That's gonna be so good. I wish I could come over for dinner. <laughs> I wish you could too. <laughs> and then, oh, here's my other trick. Oh, let me wipe my hands. Um, I took one of these from Trader Joe's that was a, a salt grinder. Yeah. And when the salt was done, I put fennel seed in it. Oh. And then I do this so I can grind fennel seed. Now, sometimes those Trader Joe's ones are reusable and sometimes they're not. Yeah, this is an option. When you just throw them away one time use, you know. But I like it for these kind of hard herbs, like you can do it for caraway seeds and all that kind of stuff. So it, won't ruin that. Your, it won't ruin your nice pepper grinder. <laughs> I don't have to use a pestle, mortar and pestle. Yeah. This is herbs de Provence. I'm just going to uh, add it to that. A classic. A classic. Yes. I always have big jars of that around. I try to make it in the summer. Um, okay, so, oh, salt. I don't know. My my herb salt that's going in there. Your go-to herb salt. My go-to herb salt. I'm gonna do pretty hefty, a hefty amount. Like it's probably ending up being a, a good teaspoonful. Here's what people here's what people don't understand, and I who did I learn this from? Some chef. I don't know who it was. I can't remember who it was. But meat must be salted and seasoned properly. And we yeah. never do it enough in America, you know? Yep. And you really can't be, don't be afraid to use salt and other spices. With don't meat. be afraid. Don't <laughs> fear the salt. <laughs> don't fear the salt. And I'm going to chop up three cloves of garlic. And then I'm going to throw that in because garlic, you know, why not? And now my knife is super sharp. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, sharp knife is the best. And then I'm just going to add the eggs. And I think I'm going to add three eggs to it because there's two pounds of meat in there and all those breadcrumbs. You have a lot of binding to do. I have a lot of binding, <laughs> sister girl. More than just this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These aren't like giant eggs either, so. That's how that's going to go. I got some good eggs last night at Whole Foods. I was so happy. Was the yucky eggs. Was it 40, 42 pounds of uh, plastic or the? No, it was the recycled cardboard with the good organic eggs. They had them. Oh, nice. All right. So there's no other way to do this. I'm taking my rings off. <laughs> You know, you kind of have to just get in there with your hand. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> and start squishing. <laughs> yeah, there's no other way. But it feels so good. Look, oh, David's going to move the camera in. <laughs> it's a close up. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good. I know, it kind of does. <laughs> it's like mud pies or something, but you really want to kind of run it through your, squish it through your fingers so that. It really gets combined. Yeah, you have to meld it. What people don't understand also is you have to meld those flavors. Otherwise, you just get pockets of meat with no flavor, you know? Yep. That's right, girl. Don't want that. No, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many times when you were younger did you go over to someone's house for dinner and they made meatloaf and it was hideous? Oh, <laughs> ah. well, yeah. And how about, do you remember um, uh, TV dinners, the oh, Salisbury yeah. ones? Hungry Man, <laughs> Hungry Man dinner. Oh, they were so gross. Not everybody's family knows how to cook. And meatloaf used to really depress me. Um, but then sometimes, you know, you're just there because it doesn't matter about the food. But I feel very lucky to grow up in the family I did where everybody knows how to cook. Yep, me too. It's a blessing. Oh, okay. It's a blessing. It is indeed. But I've had my sh fair share of really bland meatloaf that I would eat just to be nice. Um, <laughs> and it just was terrible. 
Yeah, it's not fun. I'm, the only thing I think growing up that I didn't like was um, tuna noodle casserole. <laughs> and I used to, um, oh, that's like, awful. That's I don't awful. like it. <laughs> I, it's okay. my, here's my parchment paper. Oh, uh, there it is again. Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make two meatloafs and I'll freeze one. These are great for sandwiches, so I'm gonna use. That's my favorite thing with meatloaf is the sandwich because oh yeah, day, it's so delicious. Um, the meat gets really yummy. It's just like meatballs. Yep. So I'm gonna just flatten it out like this. Wow, this is a whole new meatloaf world. I'm very excited to watch you. Oh yay. <laughs> Okay, and then, then the stuffing happens. So normally, I would lay the prosciutto right here wow. before I put the vegetables on, but I don't, um, oh, David's coming in for the close, the, the zoom in. <laughs> this is just, Debriana, this is just taking meatloaf to a whole other level. I mean, just so yeah. you know, most people don't do this. Well, most people should. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> That's right. So I got half of my amount of green chili mm -hmm. that I'm putting in. Green chili. Oh my God, that's going to be like a yummy hamburger, kind of. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Wait till you see this. Okay, here comes. Oh my God, the broccoli. Whoa. Broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> broccoli, your mind is blown. <laughs> mind blown. Okay. Mind blown. Mind blown. Okay. And then the next thing is the cheese. Wow. Cheese, girl. What kind of cheese? Well, uh, this is David's work. He ground all, he grated all the cheese. Um, I like Toscano. Do you get that at um, Trader Joe's? Yum. Yeah. And um, never put cheese in there. Uh, an organic uh, aged Gouda. I'm, what I have. I'm just going to do, again, Corona Kitchen Confessions. I've never put cheese in my meatloaf ever. <laughs> well, if you do it once, you will not stop. That sounds good. It, you, it's like you're making a cheeseburger, rolling it up. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Okay, so okay. This, is, this will help you roll it. Okay. Wow. This is you're going to use the, the parchment paper to roll it. God, I'm going to make this. Wow. Look at and that. then um, I'm going to get my can. To put it in and i'm gonna lift it and drop it in oh my god these are the major tricks right here okay so mm -hmm. this and we'll kind of roll it in wow there and then i like to top mine with a tomato sauce a lot of people use you know some version of ketchup um you know with worcestershire and all that but i made my topping with um a can of tomatoes, some tomato paste, garlic, some wow. herbs, a little bit of honey to add that sweetness to it because you like it too. <laughs> tomatoes need the sweetness. Wow, my you just put my meatloaf to shame. I'm so happy I didn't make it on this um, broadcast. I, I'm really happy that you did the meatloaf because that's well, you know the thing about it is too, it's very comforting. Yeah. So I, I top it like that, and then I'm going to bake it in a 350 oven um, for about 40 minutes. It should start look like it's pulling away from the edges, but if you really want to check the temp, it should be about 160. Okay. So I'm going to put that in the oven, and I'm going to put also, um, I'm we're doing a squash tonight with it instead of mashed potatoes, so we're just going to mash butternut wow and that's it and i i will post pictures so you guys can see it when i'm done <laughs> that's, dinner. that's dinner yes that's dinner yay thank you God, that's so much better than mine i'm having yams and kale mm -hmm. <laughs> that's because you have vegetarian children wow. i was a vegetarian for 10 years so i was wondering if people out there you know have requests i can totally do gluten-free stuff i can do vegetarian if they have you know questions about it maybe we should do a a chopped episode <laughs> i think we should pretend we're on chopped and just yeah that. it's like okay right. you have broccoli, 
Yes, the bra I, I, I think I said that at the beginning. I, I, um, I um, thawed it out a little bit. I cooked it in with olive oil and garlic. Mostly, it's a. It, I really wanted to get some of the moisture off of it, you know, so it wasn't wet inside the meatloaf. Right. Oh uh, yeah, use olive oil. Yep. Right. Olive oil, garlic, salt, salt it. You know, you need to add salt to every step of the way. Someone's asking, did you grease the pan? My oh no my when I put it in the oven yeah. no I didn't because that's a nonstick pan but you could okay. if you don't have a nonstick pan that that was nonstick okay mm -hmm. nice okay. <laughs> well I'm glad you guys got to cook with us today yay all right well have a wonderful dinner I can't wait to see the pictures too enjoy your kale and sweet potato. <laughs> I'm just gonna put on sea salt, a little olive oil, some butter. Do you put brewer's yeast on sweet potatoes? Well, I oh, well, that's my favorite thing is for brewer's yeast is popcorn and sweet potatoes. Okay, new again, new horizons. I I've never oh, tried that. Try it. It's so good. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good for you. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye. 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 Thanks, everybody, Bye. for watching, and be Bye. safe and well.